So far, I have demonstrated how to use the tic tac toe method to factor out these four trinomials, and now we are going to continue with the rest. And for the rest of the questions, notice that I will have like a two y square, or maybe a three y square, or maybe like a ten x square later on. And then, as you can see, that we don't have just y square by itself. Okay, we have a number like a a number besides one in front of the y square. So that will make the factoring a little bit more challenging. But we will proceed the same as how we did it for the first four question. So for number five, I have two y square plus twenty five y plus thirty three. So I will begin by drawing the tic tac toe grids like this. Now we have two y square, so we have to think about how can we、um, produce two y square. I think it's just two y and y. That's like a I think that's just like an only word, right? And then let's look at thirty-three. To produce thirty-three, I can use three and eleven, right? And notice that these two are not the same anymore. So if you put a three right here and eleven right here, that would be the that would be different as if、uh, if you put eleven right here or three right here, right?、Okay? And for thirty-three, we can also do thirty-three times one. That's another possibility, right? So I will begin by just Maybe put eleven right here and a three right here, and then I will do the check as follow. I will take the two y multi cross multiply with the three. Two y times three is six y, and then I will take this y cross multiply with that eleven, and that's eleven y. And then positive six y combine term with the positive eleven y, that's a total of seventeen y. Seventeen y is not what we are looking for. We are trying to get positive twenty five y. So this is the incorrect combination. Okay, this is the incorrect combination. And let's try another one. Two y square plus twenty five y plus thirty three. And then I will begin by drawing the tic tac toe box like this. So as you can see that for factoring, sometimes can be really frustrating because we we don't get the、um, right answer for the first time, right? But don't give up. Just kind of try the different combinations.、And、in this case, what we're going to do is take the two y two、uh, y square as two y and y, but then let's try to switch the eleven and the three. Okay, earlier I put the eleven on the top and the three on the bottom, so three gets multiplied with the two y. Right, three gets multiplied it with the two y, and eleven gets multiplied with the y. Now let's reverse the order. Let me put the three right here and the eleven right here, and let's see what will happen. Okay, so this may not be right. We just always have to do the check, and to do the check, I will take the two y, cross multiply with this eleven, that's positive twenty two y, and then I will take this y,、uh, cross multiply with the three, and that's. 3y, and notice that positive 22y combine like term with the 3y, it's exactly what we're looking for, the 25y, and the 25y. So we found our correct combination, and to write the answer, we'll read it across: 2y plus 3 times y plus 11. And let me put that down for number five. This will be 2y plus 3 for the first parentheses. Two y plus three times second parentheses y plus eleven. Okay. So this method I think can be fast if、um, we pick the right combinations、um, right away.、Um, sometimes that you just have to practice these questions many times and you will get get used to it. And、um, yeah, you can just be quick and you can master it how to uh, uh, do the factorings. Okay. So that's why I'm going over these questions with you guys. I hope you find these questions、uh, entertaining. Number six, three x squared minus twenty three x plus thirty. So let's draw the tic tac toe box right away, like this. To get three x squared, I need three x and x. No problem, right? Well, to get positive thirty, let's see how can we do that. I know five and six will be positive thirty, right? Five times six is equal to thirty. So, just for check, let's do five six. Let me put that down right away. 
Notice that I need to produce a positive 30 right here. And however, later on, I need to see a negative numbers in the middle. Okay, and what we're going to do is, let's make both of these negative. Negative 5 and negative 6. Negative 5 times negative 6 will still give you positive will still give you positive 30. And then the purpose was to do that is when we cross multiply with a 3x and a 6 and a negative 6. 3x and a negative 6 that will produce negative 18x. x times negative 5. Oops, I should have drawn a dash line, but it's okay. <laughs> x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Negative 18x minus 5x exactly 23x and negative 23x. So this is exactly what we need in the middle. So the answer, we got it right here. 3x minus 5, 3x minus 5, times x minus 6. That's the correct factoring of number 6. Okay, and then let's do um, the rest. To the next one, number seven. Okay, seven. I have two x squared plus seven x minus seventy-two. So you know the deal. Draw the tic tac toe box right away. To get two x squared, I need to have two x and x. And then to get negative thirty-two, uh, negative seventy-two. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we can use. 9 and 8, right? 9 and 8 will be 72. So let me put down 9 and 8 first. And then um, I need to get a negative 30, uh, 72. So maybe let me make the 8 negative right here. Right? Because 9 times negative 8 will give you negative 72. And then to see if this will work out right, I will take the 2x, uh, cross multiply with the negative 8. That's negative 16x and now take this x times the 9 so that would be 9x well, well as we can see that we have negative 16x combining with the 9x or the positive 9x that will give us negative 7x notice that I got the number right but the sign is incorrect that means I should have switched the sign I should have made the 9 negative and the 8 positive. Okay, so this is not going to be correct. Let me just go over the correct one right away. So to do this, uh, draw the tic tac box. I have 2x here and x right here. Let's make the 9 negative. Uh, I have negative 9 right here. And let's make the 8 right here. And then as we can see, 2x plus multiply with the 8, it's 16x x times negative 9 is negative 9x 16x minus 9x is exactly 7x that's exactly what we need the positive 7x right in the middle so for the answer this is the best part right Write down, writing down the answer we will have 2x minus 9 so 2x minus 9 times x plus 8 that's it. That's it. Okay, number eight. Continue with number eight. We have four x squared plus five x minus six. So, draw the tic tac toe box right away to do the factoring. For uh, for the number four, we have either two times two, right? Uh, two times two will produce uh, four x. Uh, two times two will produce four. So let me try it with two x and 2x. 2x times 2x will produce 4x squared. And now I have negative 6. So 3 and 2 will be 6. So let's try to put a 3 right here and a 2 right here. I need to have a negative 6 though. So maybe let me make this. Let me make the 3 negative like that. And then let's see what do we get. I have 2x times 2. So this I cross multiply that will be 4x and then I'll take the 2 right here times the negative 3 right here that will be negative 6x and 4x 
minus 6x, that's negative 2x. So we are off, right? We have negative 2x right here, but we are looking for to produce a positive 5x. So this is not a correct combination. And now, just pick another combination. 5x minus 6. So maybe for 4x squared, we can also do 4x times x, okay? And then for negative 6, I can put 2 and 3. So let me just put 2 right here and 3 right here. And let me make this negative, okay? Because I need to have a negative 6. So let's do it. 4x times 3, that's 12x. x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. Well, unfortunately, this is positive 10x. That's not what we're trying to get. Okay, one more time, let's see. 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. Let's try with 4x and x. And let me try to put 3 right here and 2 right here. I need to produce negative 6, so let me put a negative right here. And then to check this out, I have to do 4x times 2. That's positive 8x. Take the x, multiply with negative 3, which will get negative 3x. Whew. Ax minus 3x is exactly 5x. That's exactly what we're looking for, right? So the answer is, let's see, let me put it outside. The answer is 4x minus 3 times x plus 2. Okay. So as I said, factoring can be sometimes frustrating because we just cannot um, pick the right combinations right away. But it's a lot of fun because it kind of forces you to think like how we can make um, the, the good things happen. Okay, and then we'll continue with the with the rest.